imagine having 5,000 MS. I want to find them again. Is it in my guild? No. complains about combo, but it is how it is, dude. that type of combo that seems unfair and high pixels got to be friendly to the noobs they got to be friendly to everybody you know so this is pretty noob friendly combo i mean to an extent unless you're playing like someone like me but other than that it's pretty noob friendly i feel like in my opinion guy this guy is clearly like delusional I said where, where is right up here he said okay let me go to the private message right here combo is a joke on hypixel everybody says that everybody I beat says that combo is a joke people even people I don't play say combo is a joke and I'm like yeah sure it is he says it is which is okay I'm just trying to be logical and rational here. Well, like, I'm sure it is, but it's the same Hypixel combo for everybody here. That's all. You are you can't tell me it's not. He says, sure, I don't know what that means, first of all. So then he just switches the topic completely and says that it's there's no skill involved. Well, first of all, if there was no skill involved, how did I beat you? But I just don't understand how good aim and CPS isn't based on skill like isn't having aim a skill and clicking fast is a skill i'm just saying and honestly i've gone into this a million times before but there's so much more to combo than just clicking fast and aiming good which is what i say all the time but there's a lot more to that like that's how i beat cheaters it's not based on like obviously i can click a million cps but if they're b hopping on me i there's nothing i can do about it like i could download an auto clicker i could set it to the maximum right five hundred thousand cps okay and if i can't hit them it doesn't matter okay even if i have the best aim if i'm using an aimbot and i still click a million fps i still probably won't beat an auto um a b hopper because they're just too fast right but if i'm a rational person who's good at combo because i've played it the most of, okay other than shadow fist but that's <laughs> almost not true um i've played it more than almost anybody on the server um their strategy to it you know because sometimes their their gap will run out and that's when you go in there and you jump on them or sometimes they'll i don't know you just you feel the situation out and then you you know i lead my aim based on the the direction of the kb that's how i beat you 
Okay. You, I think that guy was clicking faster than I was, but I still beat him. Because I get tired when I click for long games because I'm not used to it. But whatever. I'm not making an excuse because I won. I'm just saying that's how it is. I don't like when people argue with me about combo. I mean, I'm, I like arguing, but I like rationally arguing. You know, I feel like I like seeing both sides. I, I like making videos about stuff, especially when I... I feel like I'm pretty open to both sides of an argument in most cases. Like, this guy, like... It was a different story, though, because he didn't really seem to have a clear point. First he said that combo was a joke, and then he said it involved no skill. If combo was a... Most people say combo is a joke because it's bad compared to my man club or velt, which is their opinion, right? Like whatever, I can, I can, all I can do is state my opinion at that point. But when you say that the game involves no skill, it's just completely and utterly untrue. And I think you know that deep down. I feel like playing any game of any type involves some sort of skill. Um, playing Minecraft is a skill. There are many skills involved in playing Minecraft. You know, there's hand-eye coordination at least right because you're using your two hands individually one is controlling the keyboard one is controlling the clicking okay and that's a skill um you're not like five i don't need to explain to you how skills work right if you learn something it's a skill but there's skill to combo and that's why i beat you because i'm just better than you so i would love it if people could see this video and stop saying stupid things like this in just any game in life in general if you're that type of guy i know there's some people out there all right you just don't know what you're talking about <laughs> uneducated people if you're uneducated about a topic you can't talk about it um but yeah that's my rant number 593 about combo um if anybody has noticed like if there's any randoms in watching this video um i'm sorry that i've been so toxic to people lately but I'm just like, honestly, <laughs> most people have already gotten to this point, like Garhart and um, probably Somiar. Um, but I'm getting a little bit fed up with the cheaters. And I know that of all times, why would I get fed up when the season hasn't started and there's no real penalty for losing? But at this point, my goal, since there is no like ultimate goal right now, like there's no, there's nothing for me to work towards in combo. Cause like I don't really gain anything by playing. Um, I am trying to be the best of every stat. I'm trying to be the very best that no one ever was. Which means that I'm almost number one wins. And that means that I would be beating the person below me by about a thousand. No disrespect to Garhart, no disrespect to anybody on here, but I just play the most. This He doesn't count. Half of his wins was it was a win streak that was boosted completely and entirely in about a week i this guy was i don't think he was even on these leaderboards and then all of a sudden he has almost four thousand wins i don't know the exact timeline but i'm guessing he got these wins in about two weeks and i think as a fact that is completely impossible for one i mean the man would have to have no life um like completely literally no life he would need to be playing constantly to get those type of wins um, also, I do believe it is impossible for you to get that type of a win streak in combo. Um, most of these people, I, I don't mean, I don't know if I can say everybody above me, um, cause I might've just gotten unlucky. I could probably have beaten that guy if I was just more lucky. Um, I don't know how legit these people are. I know Weasel if I boosted, he told me about it. I know Shadow Fist boosted cause that's impossible. Um, I don't know about these guys. Kittens got banned, I think, unless he changed his name, but I don't think he did. Kittens got banned. He was like at 400 win streak. So all these guys are cheating, and I just don't really appreciate it. Um, anyways, what was I saying? There's a lot of cheaters. You already know this. So that guy's boosting. It's impossible to get those wins. He got in him about two weeks, I think, to about a month. And I've been playing for, I want to say like six months or something. Um, I don't really know, again, I literally don't know the timeline, but about six months max. And I I think I know life this game pretty hard. Um, enough to where I can, I still have extracurriculars, curri extracurriculars and a 4.0 GPA. Didn't mean to flex, but just saying. So, yeah, whatever. 
I just want to get some sort of achievement before I pretty much quit this game because I have a job and I'll have a real life. Like, I already have a job, but I just want a real life. So, I don't know. I might quit YouTube. It really depends how I feel about this game. If they make... The biggest, like, way they could save this game is if they make the next season really good. And by really good, I mean do it the way they've already done it. Just make ranked, dude. It's not that hard. If they made ranked... Everything would be great because there'd be no issues and it'd be a fair ELO system. That would be just lovely. I also hate how low my FPS is in this arena. I don't know why I stutter all the time, but it's okay. So, if they made ranked and it was really good, I would obviously go for number one and I should be able to get it. If I don't get it, that's because someone else is cheating. That's pretty much all I have to say on the topic. Um, So, I should get number one. Um, why is my game like this? But, that's the T, boys. Um, if anybody... I just want to hit 4K wins before I quit. So, I don't know how long that will take. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's another rant. I don't want to edit this video, so just deal with it. Because <laughs> I can, honestly. And sometimes stuff like this needs to be posted. I don't know who needs to hear it. But if you cheat on Minecraft, you're a pathetic loser. Because this is a game made for kids, which is what everybody says. It's a game made for kids to have fun. It's a game made for people to have fun. And cheating is not fun for anybody. I think that if you cheat in Minecraft, there's something like wrong with you. I think this is just my opinion. <laughs> it might be a little bit severe. But I do think that there's something like mentally wrong with you. Like you're using like some sort of domination tactics in Minecraft of all things to like satisfy some sort of real life issue but whatever i'm just some kid what do i know um so that's what i've been saying to people now when they cheat i just call them a pathetic loser because that's really what they are dude there's no point you don't gain anything by cheating in this game i talked to some cheaters that i talked to who are actually reasonable um they say that they do it because it's fun but that just doesn't make any sense to me i want to know what about it is fun do you like seeing people get upset a lot of them you guys know my tactic generally or I always try and beg these cheaters like you know it's a little bit degrading for me but at the same time it's not degrading if I win so I like to beg them to let me win I beg for mercy and all that fun stuff and then more often than not they'll let me win which I'm totally okay with and it's also not boosting because they're cheating so they'd get banned anyways but I want to know like what is some of them like the begging part which may be my fault like they're just going along with it because i started doing it but i really do think that you're like sick in the head if you're cheating in minecraft even if it's a joke because like x turtle there i mean there's a bunch of issues with that that are, have already occurred but like people who cheat on minecraft and like record it and like oh look cheating in minecraft look at how fun this is again you're still killing people in game right it's still not fun it's making the game not fun for some any for somebody it's never fun to fight a cheater so i don't know it's just making the game a worse place in general it's making the community more toxic because people are playing this game but they're at the same time they never know if somebody's cheating now because so many people are closet cheating so you just you never know if somebody's cheating like it's so hard to like be skilled at this game because for me i know like every second every time somebody is cheating every time somebody like just d absolutely destroys me which is pretty much only possible if they cheat or i choke but th then they wouldn't be destroying me that would be me choking um i don't want to play this game anymore and that like there's no fun in that dude there's just no reason to be doing that to people you're just ruining someone's day like the guy who ended my 230 streak i told him about it and he was just ex so excited to ruin someone's day which clearly i like i don't think you need to be a therapist to come to the conclusion that there's something wrong with this guy like he's got some sort of deep-rooted issues that result in him finding satisfaction from beating people and literally ruining people's like i don't know probably my week or something just for absolutely no reason whatsoever like they literally get banned later that day but to be fair they just come back on a different account and they do it all over again so it's just like an endless cycle and there's like i'm not saying that it's hypixel's fault because there's really nothing you can do about it 
like no matter how good your anti cheat is, they're always gonna have to kill at least one person, or else you won't know that they're cheating. Like especially in duels, there's no way to report someone for cheating in duels, unless they're blatantly be hopping on you. But even then, Hypixel says that they don't accept for first person footage anymore because you can fake it, and they don't accept replay mod because you can fake that too. So I th really think Hypixel should implement a spectate feature in duels. That's not just for championship, because if you type slash spectate, and then like a random player, let's say like, I don't know, I gotta find something, someone who's on, who's online right now, Is it anybody in a duels game? Okay, I'm not looking at the right chat. Um, type slash fo please, slash spectate, um, EJP. It's literally an unknown command. There's no such thing as spectate. Or slash spec doesn't exist either. There's just nothing there. So, there should be a way to spectate. I don't know why they haven't done it. I don't know what took them so long, honestly. Because it feels like a pretty obvious thing to do. Like, literally anybody could have thought of that in a fraction of a second. If they get cheated on one time, they're like, hmm, what can I do to stop this next time? Oh, have somebody come in there and get third person footage of this? Seems like a great idea. Why not do that? I don't know why they haven't done that because it seems like there are no downsides like worst case scenario you send like a spectate request to somebody right like a like a party request or a friend request and if the player accepts it it teleports you as a spectator into their duels game and then all they got to do is record it and then upload it and then that's it fill out a little report <sighs> jesus christ I don't even know how long it's been. It's probably been 20 minutes again. I always make these rants, and then I realize that I do nothing. Like, I don't know why anybody would even watch this video. Like, there's literally no point to it. I'm just running around following this white line for an hour and a half. So, like, if you want to put, like, this in the background or something, I don't know. If you want to listen to a 16-year-old boy be toxic about a video game, this is the place to be. Welcome to my channel, everybody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, I also uploaded a video proving I'm not legit, or uh, I was going to say proving I'm not legit, proving I am legit, proving I'm not cheating um, for the second time. I already made a hand cam video, like a click speed test video, but whatever. There, I, Jesus Christ. Because there, there, I get, I only uploaded because there's so many people that have been reporting me recently. Like I've been getting watchdogged pretty much constantly. And like people are always telling like high level players, so like I don't know if they have like a mod in their their F list or something, because you never know. But I just I really don't want to get cheated or banned. <laughs> so I pretty much record like every game now. So like I'll record it and I'll just delete it afterwards because my computer does not have very much space. That's why I've got my folder up and down there and like OBS open. So I'll just press Alt F9, you know, start recording at the beginning of every game. And I'll turn it off after the game. And then, like, if I don't get accusated, I just won't keep it. I mean, like, I guess, I don't know. So hopefully that should be enough evidence. Anyways, thank you guys for watching to the end of this video if you did. Um, I don't know why you would, but I appreciate you listening to me talk. It's been nice to just, like, talk sometimes. And, and I like my voice right now. My voice sounds really good. I don't know what that means, but I, I just like it right now. So, yeah. Bye, guys.